Okay, so Daniel, would you rather get severe hookup, hiccups every 15 minutes or have something installed into your eye that permanently shows advertisements that blocks 80% of your vision? <laughs> wow, that's a tough one. Oh, gosh. <laughs> Are the hiccups curable? I guess you can sit upside down every 15 yeah, minutes. Yeah, try the whole thing. <laughs> I'm gonna go with hiccups because, man, advertisements that block your vision, that would suck. So, I was sitting at a bar with friends when out of nowhere we got to playing Would You Rather. You know, the classic game of two scenarios and you choose which one you rather do. And, ahem, <clears throat> if you know how to play it right, you then discuss the topic and learn more about your friends. And, I gotta say, it was quite a fun time. Problem was though, after not too long, it takes longer and longer to think of good Would You Rather scenarios. Actually, no problem, because sure enough, hashtag there's an app for that. Downloaded it, booted it up, and the first question that popped up was, would you rather be Cinderella or Ariel? Uninstalled, but that's when my brain chimed in. Yo, Brills, there's an app idea here. Create a database with a bunch of scenarios and let the app randomly pair scenarios together. And bada boom. Why, brain, that is such a good idea. High five. Ow. Okay, so this week's software is actually going to be super simple, and I mean super simple. But first, let's start by defining some classes. A class is something that we all, as software developers, will define ourselves. We will only be using two classes today, and so we will call our first class a situation, which will simply be the completed would you rather sentence. And we'll call our second class a scenario, which will simply be one out of the two of the scenarios that will make up a situation. Each situation has two scenarios. Easy enough, right? Please remember these classes for they will be very important moving forward. Now, with our class terminology out of the way, all we have to do is make a user interface with two text displays. And on each display will be a would you rather scenario. And as easy as that, we'll be able to play this game with friends. However, there is one challenging part, and that's creating the database for this game. If we're gonna randomly pair scenarios together as Brain suggested, we have to pay very close attention to detail because here's the deal. Let's take these two situations for example. Again, remember, each situation has two scenarios. Would you rather have one million dollars in 10 years or one thousand dollars today? And would you rather fight 100 duck-sized horses or one horse-sized duck? They both work well as situations alone, but if you were to mix up their scenarios, we run into a problem. Obviously, most people rather take any money over fighting any size anything. That's a no-brainer. So, mixing scenarios like these that are so different from each other to try and make dynamic situations could make for a very boring game. So, how can we solve this? Well, one solution we could do is to add full situations into the database and don't mix anything. But I personally refuse to do it this way, because let's say there's two similar enough situations. You'll never see their scenarios mixed. They'll forever be fixed together. A waste of time and absolutely boring. Take note, popular would you rather apps that I use for research. Okay, so blah, 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 ramble on. Let's get to an actual solution. I could mark every scenario with some sort of ID. For example, these fighting scenarios are negative. These money scenarios are positive and only mix scenarios with the same ID, for example. And yeah, this could work, but I don't feel like testing and optimizing for this solution. I just want a straightforward development path. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to handpick this database myself and do the best I can to make sure they all have a similar difficulty. For sure, not the most efficient way to go about doing this, but some of my favorite things to use in my software projects are Exponential Functions, aka Procedural Generation which on the most basic level is pretty much combining a number of things to get an even larger number of outcomes. So procedurally generated would you rather situations is the idea here. And it's so cool to me because all I need to do is collect a minimum of 33 scenarios and I will have over a thousand procedural situations. 50 scenarios and I'll have almost 2.5 thousand procedural situations and doubling that number to 100 scenarios will quadruple their procedural situations to almost 10,000. If you haven't figured out already, this is where the exponential part comes in, by the way. Super cool, and I can't express how much I love using these. So, guessing an average would you rather play session would go through maybe 50 situations. There is a less than 2% probability of seeing the same situation per session. And the more I add to this database, the smaller that probability will become. 
You know, maybe I should make it even more procedural by making all nouns a variable and creating some sort of algorithm that will- Hey, I thought you were doing weekly uploads. Are you sure you want to get carried away like that? Right. Anywho, I think I have a name for this app. How about the best would you rather game? <laughs> All right, and here we are. Simple user interface is promised. Two scenarios, one on top, one on bottom. And anytime you select a scenario, it will proceed to generate a new situation. And that's pretty much it. So now, the part you've all been waiting for. Let's go put the best would you rather game to the test and try and turn some absolute strangers into new friends. Would you rather have something installed into your eyes that permanently show advertisements and block 80% of your vision or always feel like you're about to sneeze? I don't mind sneezing actually. So, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll be sneezing. Uh, maybe. Uh, uh. Yeah, I'm good with the sneezing. I'm good with the sneezing. Oh, uh, yeah. We're, we're friends now? Would you rather not kill someone but have everyone think that you did or have all of your favorite parts of the songs you like be replaced with the Amber Alert noise and you forget that it happens every time? Uh, that was a little difficult. Probably everyone thinking I killed somebody even though I didn't. Really? Yeah. You love music that much? Oh yeah. That's awesome music. man. Would you rather have a childhood bully embarrassingly come out of nowhere and pants you every time you try to make a good impression or intentionally break a glass bottle on your head not covered by insurance? Damn, son. <laughs> Probably break the bottle. Yeah, I'm breaking the bottle, dog. Would you rather gain superhuman sense of smell, okay. but only for horrible vomit-inducing smells, <laughs> or lick every seat of every porta potty at Coachella? <laughs> The first one. I'm not licking no toilet. <laughs> that is disgusting. <laughs> Very cool. Are we friends now? We're friends. Success. We built an app game and made some new friends from it. Brain fives, everyone. You deserve it. Ow. All right, guys, that is the end for this episode. I hope that you enjoyed it. Now, I want to talk about some of the problems that I faced during this project. It was a lot harder to craft scenarios that were balanced. Some scenarios were easier when compared to others and vice versa. And yeah, that, that was a lot harder than I thought. Um, and then the more that you add, the harder it gets. Oh, and one really interesting thing that I found uh, while doing this project was when I first initially started the database, I started with positive only scenarios. Scenarios, it didn't really give me good results from what I found. For example, would you rather have a would you rather get a free expensive car or a free expensive house? And like it was just like I rather really get a free house because I can live in it. That was the end of the conversation. Like, oh I mean, yeah, that's a good point. <laughs> but when I went more to the darker side, more of the like negative, then it really brought out different characteristics within people. So that was interesting. I don't know what philosophy there is to say about that. So yeah, those are all my interesting finds for this project, but now it's time to share something extremely disappointing with you guys. So this app is not up on the Android store or the Apple store or any store for that matter because I ran into a very strange problem with Xamarin. Xamarin is the engine used to build this, this app. It was, this was like one of my first times using this engine and I had to learn a lot. There's a weird error with Xamarin currently that I don't know how to get around. I did a lot of research seeing how I can fix it. I tried all the solutions but one which would require me to learn a lot more things which, which would probably add like three more days of production which I just don't I just don't think it's worth the time to do that when the developers for Xamarin said that like this is a bug that they're not looking into fixing anytime soon so yeah it's not up on any stores unfortunately but in the future I might rebuild this port it over to unity engine and build the app using the Unity engine and put it up on the store these things happen sometimes in software development um, you just gotta keep your head up and move on. I want to give a huge thanks to Shane Meister, M Meister, Meister. I hope I'm saying your last name right for helping me out. He provided some of uh, the scenarios for this database, and they worked out pretty well. Thank you for that, man. If you're new, please subscribe to my channel if you enjoyed this project and want to see more like it. I will for sure be doing more. If you guys happen to have any software, app, or game suggestions, please don't be shy. Let me know in the comments below, or even better yet, tweet them to me at Seth Stuff is my handle. But whatever you decide to do, whatever the case may be, remember to always feed your curiosity. Peace.